Hi, welcome to the next ball hack tutorial. Since I don't feel like doing too much today on the thing, um, I'll try to do more next time with the uh, with the with next tutorial. But uh, this one, I'm gonna make it make pretty make it put, be pretty short. Okay. So, what I want you to do is go to. Uh, this is going to be teaching you how to do um, uh, replacing. Uh, pictures like taking pictures for um, so that you can, so that your characters can like be like, like so the character can be like replaced everywhere like if you have like shadow of Donkey you want Donkey Kong's picture gone you want Shadow's picture everywhere on to on top of Donkey Kong so I'll show you how to do that so um, we are at Brawl Vault and that the website I'll put it in the description forms.kc-mm.com hyphen is a dash or whatever you want to call it uh, and then just go there click on brawl vault then click on resources right here and then um, you'll see all this stuff and what you want to get is brawl box and um, gimp gimp is a free g program that's a lot like photoshop it's easy, it's easy to use if you know what you're doing um, that's kind of a dumb thing to say, since, um, if you don't know what you're doing, then it's not that easy, but it should be easy for what the thing you want to do, if you know Photoshop tricks or whatever. Um, what you want to do first is, um, open up Brawlbox, and, um, you're going to have to get the, uh, disc, the disc contents of Brawl. So in order to do that, let's go find my link that I have to all the all, to a bunch of to a, to a that goes to uh is it, it's a link that goes to a Mediafire account that has like every single thing you can download for um that's inside the ball disk. Here we go. Go to this link. I'll have it in the description. Paste it in your browser. And you'll see data partition. That's the beginning of the ball disk contents. And there's all the stuff. There's all the folders. And the stuff we need. See how there's effect and fighter and game info item. These are all the stuff in the. These are all the folders in uh, ball that um, we are modifying. Say you want to change his. Uh, picture in the like um, for the uh, selection screen what you want to do oh yeah go to, go to the system folder and then download common 5 underscore e n that is the um, the fault the, th the thing that has all the um, menu stuff and if you are using uh, Gecko OS, after you download this, you need to rename it to common5.pac. So take out the e, the underscore en. You don't want the underscore en for Gecko OS users. For Revolution, keep the underscore e underscore en. Keep it the way it is for Revolution. Okay. So after that, go to where you put it. I keep like I've already like taken out a lot of contents from the brawl disk, so I just keep them in this giant folder and take what I got from here. So I download the actual brawl disk. I didn't really want to download all these different files from this thingy. <laughs> I didn't know about that. Until I saw it, I'm like, oh, well, I already have the ISO, so whatever. So anyway, we'll see a bunch of these blue things after you open it in that open after open that file. These are like it's like a kind of like it's just like a like, I don't know folder containment thingies. Anyway, um, what you want to look for is SC Sil character underscore E N. That's for the character selection screen. SC Sil map. E N. That's for the um. 
the stages selection screen. So first we're going to do the characters and let's see what we got in here. If you just look around and you if you just open up open these up with by pushing the pl pushing the pluses it'll open them up and go to the thing that says textures and you know look around in here and you'll see all different textures that the menu uses on the selection screen for characters and there's all the different letters and the words see and here we are this is where the um n the names are for the characters so there's Donkey Kong let's go to that and we're gonna um right okay, we're gonna right click it replace and we're gonna um and I suggest just um either I I don't see I I can't really tell you how to get how to like get this thing some usually um like um with the shadow hack anyway it it um it comes with um the stuff for it I believe yeah um see that it comes with it um most of them do anyway <coughs> or just the shadow hacks. Some of the hacks come with the uh, little name thingies and everything, all the pictures you can use to replace the stuff, but some peop some of them don't. You'll have to make your own. It's not that hard. Um, just open up Paint, you know, and type in stuff and save it, <coughs> you know. Is what, it, is what I recommend, you know. <coughs> Export the texture. Put it somewhere. And then right click it so you don't have to go f since you don't so you don't have to like go find it just right click replace whatever and go back so you can get back to the folder and then right click open with paint and then zoom in on it and then blacken out all the crap uh, I mean all the text you gotta zoom out in order to put text there. And then make it white, change it to that. Um, tails, wait, wait, it's too big a font. <laughs> Silly me. Let's see, uh, 18 font is good. Let's see, what font do we want? I mean, yeah, that was, that was points, this is font, okay. Um, it doesn't really matter what font you choose, but you want you want it to like cover the big portion of it. I'm sure there's like a brawl um uh font somewhere, but I wouldn't know about it. Um you could try and look it up or something. So, just put it like that, and then use this little mover tool, select control A, move it to the center, get the black paint bucket and, you know, put that back in. The paint shouldn't be too hard to figure out. It's like the easiest program in the world on Microsoft Word, or Windows, Microsoft Word, <laughs> Microsoft Windows, you know, just like save it, and then um, after you do that, then... Right click, replace, since we're going with Donkey Kong. And, okay, and boom. Then you just save that, and you, um, save it, and then you port it, go to your, uh, SD card. Probably all that crap. Go to system folder that's in the PF folder and uh, after you save this paste the new saved one in here and then the name Donkey Kong will be changed to shadow on the bottom now um... Let's see something here I think there's more textures in here I'm not entirely sure nope 
that's not the right one. Um, so this is miscellaneous data 40. Miscellaneous data 40 is where you'll find the names at the bottom when you have, whenever you select your character. And now in miscellaneous miscellaneous data 70, that's M I S C. That's that's short, short for miscellaneous data. We're gonna go. We found Donkey Kong's picture. And right click, replace. You can make your own picture. Just use like use GIMP. Um, I'll show you a quick a quick way to use GIMP. Um, since you're if you're not like doing what I'm doing, where where you actually have the pictures you want and um, all that jazz. Go find GIMP. All right, then just um, click on the the magnifying glass. Zoom in. And then let's go find a random picture, shall we? My uh, just go on like Google or or something and find a good picture of the character you're replacing. Sure, why not? Let's say we're doing it, we're doing uh, we're replacing Donkey with Bubs, <laughs> even though Bubs isn't exist in Ball yet. Um, we uh co can we right click, edit, copy his picture, right click, edit, paste. And then push Control T. Wait, that doesn't work in here. Um, I don't know how to do that. And uh, I don't know how to do this in GIMP. I mean, I know how to do it in Photoshop. Scale tool. Just drag it down. Make it as small as you can. Actually, maybe we could just do that. Just hold down the down arrow, and there is those little pulley things I need. Move it over here. Scale. Whoa, that looks really pixely. <laughs> well, hopefully it looks good in the game. <laughs> it's just name it Bubs. Um oh, we'll, we'll save it as we wanna name it we wanna, we wanna go down here to where it says select file type and we wanna go to um P and G. Don't don't worry about this. This just this comes up sometimes. Just click export and it'll do it and make the PNG file. There. Let me go back to Brawl Box. And that looks like crap, but that's why you don't use pictures like that, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to the shadow one. See, that one was made um, in Photoshop by someone else to the, to make it look just like it was made for Brawl. You can do that. You can just take like find this background somewhere and put put the character's face on top of it in Photoshop in, in GIMP. Whatever it w would be that hard. Um, so now we have Shadow's picture in there, <coughs> miscellaneous day of seventy, and we have put in. Um, Shadow's w Shadow's name in miscellaneous. We have put Shadow's name in miscellaneous data uh, 30. And when you when you're trying to find a texture, just you know hold down the arrow key down and you'll find them. Just hold down the arrow key and you'll you'll find it. You'll eventually land upon it. Um,